Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have a whammy. I have the 21 year old Perspective Series number one from Berry Brothers and Rudd. I have the 25 year old. And ta ta, finally I have the 35 year old. So just going to turn them like this really briefly so you can see the color differences, which I think are fantastic. So the 35 year old really does stand out. You do notice, look at that, it's much darker. Now the question is, is darker better? Ooh. And the second question is, is older better? Hmm. So we're looking at a price tag for the 21 year old from 95 euros. We're looking at a price tag for the 25 year old for 120 euros. And for the 35 years old, it's 259 euros. So twice the price tag of the 25 year old. I do not think that is justified in any manner whatsoever. But hey, the question of the day is, can you recommend a different 35 year old whiskey for 250 euros for me? It seems to be actually a bargain on the market at the moment. But to be very honest, I'm not shopping for 35 year old whiskey normally. All right, so all of these are 43%. Um, hmm, I don't know why, but Berry Brothers and Rudd decided to do that. Now, the 25-year-old really, really impressed me. It's much better than the 21-year-old, so I'm not going to um, have a class. Oh, I am going to have a class with the 21-year-old as well. If we're going to have some type of decadence here, let's do it correctly. So I'm going to put the 21 here, up here. So getting rid of this nice little um, tin, so I have a little bit of space for everything. So 35, 25, 21. Oh, wow. By the way, there's about 500 euros um, worth of whiskey here on the table. That's a lot of money. I could only do it because I have um, people who do bottle shares with me. That means I have about 5CL of each of these, and the rest of them I have actually sold. Well, psh. There's about 10 CL left, but after my video, I hope someone's going to say, hey, give me 5 CL, give me 10 CL, and everything's going to be gone. So as I said, 95, 120, and 260 euros, basically. And you can see from the colors, there are big, big difference here. 35, 25, 21. Uh, 1,700 bottles, uh, 2,000, no, 3,220 bottles, and 6,300 bottles. And by the way, in most shops in Europe, they're still there. They were all bottled 2019, so none of these bottles are flying off the shelf in any manner. Maybe my video might help that the 25-year-old flies and will be gone very soon because I really like this whiskey a lot. All right, the 35-year-old is what we're talking about today on the nose. Oh, yeah, I like this nose. This nose has dark, rich fruits. This nose has a little bit of furniture polish, a little bit of leather, dark cherries. It's got that really, really nice, oh, yeah, old whiskey moment here. This is something I could enjoy. If this was a, if this was a aftershave, I would use it, all right? This is how much I like this. Really, really nice. Old wood, fabulously done. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So the 35-year-old is the best smelling whiskey of the three. The 25-year-old comes fairly close, but it doesn't have the depth, doesn't have the complexity, doesn't have the darkness, doesn't have that. has a lot more of a honey moment and so on. And the 21-year-old is okay, but it's um, got a little bit of an astringency, an old um, bitter wood to it. So definitely in the nose, one, two, three. Now let's try this. Um, and the first things I'm going to mention is the word, it's watery. It's as if they took a higher proof whiskey and watered it down below the point it should have been. Now, um, Berry Brothers and Rudd basically decided, hey, for our perspective series, um, number one, oh, it's with a photographer. The ph photographer is um, Lindsay Robertson. He took this picture here. You see the Bothy down at the bottom? You see the U-shaped valley? I've actually seen a picture like this before from someone else, so I don't know. It's not that, that um, special for me. Here's um, Lindsay um, Robertson for me. And in each and every bottle, you have the picture. It's each and every bottle has that um, the label on it, and each and every can also has that. But it just doesn't really look at all the white space here. It just really doesn't do it for me at all. And that tiny little picture here doesn't pop at all. 
All right, my personal opinion. So they tried to combine art, the uh, the art of whiskey making with the art of photography. I'm gonna say eh, C plus. <laughs> so this is not a C, not even maybe a C plus whiskey. It's very watery. It's the nose is beautiful. I love the nose, but the palate just doesn't deliver, unfortunately. Cheers. There's a strong grain moment. There's a lot of wood. There's a lot of stewed fruits. There's a lot of nice, dark, rich cherry moment in here. There's a lot going on. It is a good whiskey. This is a C, C plus whiskey. But is it worth 260 euros? Not in this lifetime. It's not, at least in my personal opinion. Um, it's a D minus for a value for money, and it's a C plus in the it's a D for value for money. It's a it's a C plus in the in the taste. This was more of a C whiskey. This was a um, C plus plus B minus minus whiskey. Maybe more. I'm going to go for B minus now. Uh, B minus C plus C. Uh, they're all okay whiskeys. There's nothing wrong with any of these whiskeys, but for the price we're paying, it's just not delivering what I want. It does have a long finish. It does have a um, a good finish. But at the beginning, it just starts off a little bit like, wait, there's too much water here. Um, so the 35-year-old, this is, um, I have not read the tasting notes on this at all. It says here, rich, matured uh, notes of fruit and malt are um, augmented by a lively uh, Christmas, crispness from the grain. The first time the grain was mentioned on one of these bottles, interesting enough. All right, um, candied fruit emerges, very, very good. Uh, carried on uh, waves of honey and balanced by uh, judicious hints of oak. I've never heard that word before. Uh, the finish is long and relaxed. Okay. Is it a good whiskey? Yes. Is it a great whiskey? No. Is it worth the price? No. Does it taste like a 35-year-old whiskey? No. This does taste like a 20-year-old, 25-year-old whiskey. At least it's got that flavor moment there. It's got the age. It's got the complexity, I wish. It's just way too watery and way too soft, for my personal opinion. In comparison, the 25-year-old on the nose, mm, the honey sweetness and goodness of the stewed fruits, together with the palate, Mm. delivers the best performance of all of these as well as the best price value for money so this is my winner for the value for money and as well for the flavor this is um, runner-up for the flavor but this is um, last place for the value for money way too expensive for what you're getting if you can only find the 21 year old and the 25-year-old is not available, I, don't even re I won't even recommend it buying it. I would recommend going and say, hey, do you have a Glenn Fockless 21-year-old for the same price? Or buy that instead. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Chevis Regal, 21-year-old um, salute, buy that instead. Um, this is okay, but this is not a wow whiskey. The 25-year-old is a wow whiskey and the 35-year-old is special, but way, way too expensive in my personal opinion. More heat, more wood, more stringency. <coughs> this is the place to be. This is the place to go to. So what did we learn? Older is not necessarily better. Darker is not necessarily better. Both of these have been debunked, at least with this series. My question of the day is, have you had any other um, series like this where a independent bottler or even a um, a distiller actually puts out maybe three bottles where you can try them, compare them with each other. A series where you can go, hey, this, 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 I'd like to compare them and show it, show um, what they are and which one is the best of the series. I love doing that. I love these side-by-side -side comparisons. That's something I've been doing for many, many years now and something I plan on doing for many, many years. 
All right, very, very good. Berry Brothers Rudd, any good experiences with them? Any good bottles you've had? Please write that down in the, um, in the chat. Any other series you've seen or the whiskeys we can compare them to each other? Also, that is something you can write down in the, in the comments below. And um, thank you very much for liking, sharing, um, supporting me here and giving me this emotional um, um, support that I can continue, continue on with my channel. All the best. See you soon. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. 1,700, 3,220, and 6,300 bottles. All the best. Ex European exclusives. Sorry. Bye-bye.